You know, um, before we get started properly, I just want to tell you about a weird dream I had the other night. A uh, very trippy, very, very trippy dream. You see, I dreamed of this strange alternate universe, controlled by two warring empires. In the east, Arcadia, stretching out into vast expanses of richness, and they had all the magici rakes that bring magici up out of the ground. And then, in the west, Britannia, and they had all the democracy and the hypocrisy and all the other ocracies that make any sense in this world. And then in the middle, strapped between these two warring forces, was the tiny kingdom of Dalmasca. Now, Dalmasca was having a problem because Dalmasca was constantly getting the shit kicked out of it by Arcadia. So what is Dalmasca gonna do? Well, hey, what Dalmasca you. did is Dalmasca heard all about this little club thing that the board, uh, right? Rosaria right have, made up of groups ambush. of different sets and parts and, and facets there. on the face of Rosaria. Damn you stormcloaks. So, Skyrim was fine until you came along. Dalmasca, Empire you know, goes to these meetings. Lazy. Dalmasca's like, the you think the problem is Arcadia's also Stole a member of the horse and then halfway to right. fell. And Dalmasca says, dude, you what's going on? You uh, you I, want, I want to be in your club. It's Can I be in your club? I want to be in your club. We're all brothers and sisters. And Arcadia and goes, son. whoa, whoa, don't let Shut them in that club. Them. I mean, how are we what's supposed to reopen him, peace right? negotiations with all the what's oil, uh, the magis, the magicite rigs that we've got open all over, all over our empire? I mean, oh, that stuff's pretty precious. Oh, and then Rosaria nodded along. They're, they're like, oh yeah, rebellion. oh yeah. There's nothing like magicite. We fucking love that shit. We'd do anything for that. Literally anything. I don't know where so you know, going. and then and then so Del is God, like, oh dude, okay, Rosaria, no, what about you guys? What happening. do you think? This isn't happening. And you know, a member of the Rosarian hey. High Council. What village are you from, Horst? Uh, what uh, do you hear? Charles Z. Britannia. My Lord's last thoughts. Have I been saying Rosaria? I meant home. Britannia, right? Charles Z. Britannia. He thinks to himself and he's like, oh, you know, we'd like to help you, but only if you promise to never ever blame Arcadia for the generation and generation of rape and murder and, you know, all that good shit. And then uh, Thomas Jefferson stands up. He's also in the... Uh, Britannian High Council, and he and he says, "Of course, it's hard to hear what he's saying because his mouth's stuffed full of Israel's. I mean, his mouth's stuffed full of Arcadia's cock." So just so Dalmasca turns away, distraught and afraid, right? And then he thinks, he thinks to himself, "What? Well, will no one stand up for someone like me?" And then, as he's about to walk out the door. Suddenly, he hears a voice. When I was a boy, wait, mon ami. Walls and towers I will vote for you, monsieur. And he turns around, and who is it? Yep, that's right, Spain. Do the impossible, see the invisible. Bro, bro, fight the power. Constant, need to go inside. <laughs> Why? Hello! Oh, for what fortuitous Inside circumstance this oh. is. My name is Moogle FTW, and you're watching the magical mystery tour! A series of cautionary tales for young children everywhere. Tonight's story. One day there was a young boy named Bill Let's go. who went to the Shouldn't old the haunted mansion. Where he was raped. Bro, bro, fight the power. Cast the untouchable, break the unbreakable. Bro, bro, fight the power. What you gonna do is what you wanna do. Just break the rules that you see the truth. You see the thing that you see come through, baby. Bro, bro, fight the power. Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them. Yes, this is a let's play. I will be trying to complete the quests. To the best of my abilities, uh, I will be showing you Empire loves the best way to lists. go about each separate quest, and I hope you'll follow Ulfric along. Stormcloak. Now, one thing you should know about me, new guys, um, 
I'm highly on, immature. Yeah, I use every swear word in the book, though of course, as usual, I will Bail be bleeping out the word f in this, uh, just for the sake of common decency. So yeah, we'll we'll of course, no you know, we'll have some kind of counter at the step. bottom, and you know, should no, I ever say I'm the word? For we'll bleep this. it out. Halt! Archers! Archers! <laughs> oh, here I got him, and he fell the wrong way. That's nice. Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you? Ha! <laughs> Interesting question. Well, I'll tell you who I am. Well, I mean, you know, we got the usual races to, you know, select from here. We got what? We got Wood Elves. Wood Elves are kind of pissy. I mean, just... Look at that. There's nothing behind those eyes. Nothing but hatred and rage against the world that gave it a girlish, gay-looking face. We got black guards. We got... We, we, we got... I'm talking to my fucking self. <coughs> Goblins. We got... Starks. We got... Uh, I don't know. Some kind of... Japanese hentai dream or so I fucking I We got Baratheons. That's nice. Yeah, I don't know. We got high elves. I mean, that's just to the top, you know. I mean there's nothing special about high elves apart from that fucking crimson chin that guy's sporting. Jesus Christ, you could kill an ice bear with that motherfucker. Alright. We got what is this at the top? Uh we got HP Lovecraft. We've got French people. But I'll be playing, of course, as a thug elf. Alright. Boy, obviously. I ain't afraid of no vagina. Uh, oh my god. Jesus Christ, no, what was... Fucking hell! Kalimra! We will fight them with spears! We will meet them on the beaches! Jesus Christ! Look at this guy! Are those even eyes? He's just got two holes drilled into the back of his skull that he operates with a small pulley mechanism to blink using his ears! Which are fine, by the way. I'm loving those ears. Uh, skin tone? Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be a white dark elf. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna be a white d albino dark elf. And... Why doesn't this make you fatter? It just makes you musclier. Well, that's skinny and kind of frightening looking. So, we're going to go to the other screen, the other extreme. <coughs> thunder! Thunder! Thundercats! I have the power! Alright, nice, nice, nice. Head, complexion, well, I don't know if you've heard, but my characters have a tendency to have seen some shit beforehand, which removes the need for any real character development as the game progresses. So, yeah, this guy's seen a lot of shit. He's got little black spots there, which are incredibly embarrassing, and he had a lot of trouble as a child, but we'll get to his backstory in another set. This removes all responsibility from me, because I had chicken earlier, and the middle of it was cold, so this is going to be my last set ever. I hope you've enjoyed the Magical Mystery Tour, and I'll miss you all dearly. Except... you. Dirt. Oh yeah. It's getting hot in here. Jesus fucking Christ! I want, him, I want to turn his avatar away, just so he is pointing that foaming pit of rage at someone else. Dirt colour. Uh, super white. Yeah. Scars. Fucking what? Ask an obvious question, will you? Scars. Oh yeah, right down from the eye. Yeah. That's where he wrestled one of them walruses. It wasn't like a fight. I mean, he literally paid money and bet other people he could wrestle a walrus. And now he goes around with the walrus's hands on his hands. And he says, I beat a walrus with my walrus hands. <laughs> He's not much of a joker. I mean, there are bears, but... Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Yes, call him more. He must pay the price. No, I don't think we're actually going to beat that white for just... Plain evil. Jesus Christ, dude! You're frightening me! 
and I'm going to be playing with you for a while, so, you know, buckle down, Sparky. Um, hold on, let's give him the pointiest nose. You ever seen that? It's an offshot of X Factor, the pointiest nose. It's really quite good, you know, and it's not what you'd expect. Ooh, that's, that's pretty hook. Given the Severus Snape job. Oh shit! Oh shit, son! Look at that beast! Damn! He could peck his way through a tree with that! Nose height. Can we give him a. That's, that's perfect! You handsome devil! Alright, nose length, long, jaw width. That doesn't seem to be making much of a difference. We'll give him a big, thick jaw just to add to the impression he makes when he walks in and just terrifies mortals with his mere presence. Jaw height. <laughs> Jesus! Buff as hell! See, now, this is the kind of guy they'd never let into professional sports. It wouldn't be long before someone figured out that he cheated. Alright, um, okay, jaw forward. Okay, alright, alright, cheekbone height, nice. Nice. For it down there. Dude, not only is he buff, he's melting. He's got muscles on his cheekbones, and they're actually starting to form an extra face. Uh, cheekbone width? No, no, nice and skinny, but down there. Yeah, he's looking down at you. Cheek color? Yeah, let's get him some blush. Uh, no, I like those, I like those dark patches. They make it threatening. Laugh lines? I don't fucking think so! Have you seen that face? Jesus! No! No! A joke to this guy is genocide for every other dark elf than him. Cheek colour lower. What was I just changing? Oh, I can give him a little bit of a beard thingy here. Yeah, I don't mind that. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Don't let him get you down. He has the body of um, a well-built 25-year-old dark elf, but his face is just all over the place. Why, you may ask? Down syndrome. Think before you make a stink. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting these jokes out before the Leverson report comes out and I'm no longer allowed to. Uh, chin colour? I'm not noticing any real difference there. That's it. Show us your best features. Uh, yeah, that's, th th that's all the same. But thanks anyway. Neck colour. Oh, this is good. Ward off vampires. Look at that, he's just completely blue. There's no blood in there. Forehead colour. Yeah, nice and white. <laughs> Are you just a well-disguised high elf? No, 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 I'm from Morrowind, you know. I, I know, I know. Eye shape. Uh, f fuck me. Okay, I don't want him looking disfigured. I just want him looking very pissed. No, that makes him look wise. That makes him look, you know, Akavir. <coughs> <laughs> makes him look tired. There, I think. I think that's the one. <laughs> I don't make jokes. I make enemies. Oh, you can give him Sith eyes. Oh, no, that's too Darth Maul. You can't get. But you guys can't wait for the next Lion King. Lion King. Star Wars! They're the same film, I mean, come on. Right. But you can't wait for the new Star Wars. Star Wars 7. Hothback of Notre Dame. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can give him one white eye. Oh, shit. Yeah, he lost the other one in Korea. Eye height. No, uh, what, is, what does that do? It makes him look tired. Oh, now he's super pissed! He's probably pissed because the folds of his eyebrows are growing their own muscles and egg all their own faces and it's actually melting away past his eyes. Why? Face surgery. Think before you make a stink. Eye width. Uh, does that really make that much of a difference? Eye depth. Yeah, right, right into the back of his skull. Just nothing but black pits until you meet that horrifying red visage there. This guy's got this guy has equipped the eye of Mordor. 
eyeliner color? Dude, yes, that is the perfect thing to wrap this up. Eyeshadow? Wait, you already wearing it? 